Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Snookus, and this is another episode of our Hearts of Iron 4 series here with the Velt. No, the. What's it called? The mod. Um, Reich, something Reich. Whatever. Um, last time we read that event, and I just checked on our um, politics, and I saw that the Travelier, the syndicalists, are 98% in power, which is huge. And which means our stability is gonna be secure for a good, good long time, a good long time. Um, yeah. So what, what is this called? Mod called the Kaiserreich. Kaiserreich. Welcome to Kaiserreich. Um, and that's pr pretty much what we're playing. We are still waiting for some stuff to happen. The working women thing to be, be done. Uh, we are optimizing. Right, cool. Look at this. We already have uh, 20 civilian faction factories, only building more civilian factories. And eventually when they reach their top development, development they're gonna uh, do the complete turn into replicators and start conquering the galaxy. And um, as you can see, the Germans have started to build up their armies a bit more here. You can see a couple more divisions. And in Italy, we are pretty much overwhelmingly... Uh, in, um, on the um, upper hand as well, and also down here in southern Italy, just outright at Rome. Um, as you can see here, I favor uh, putting my lines behind the river because they, they get a crossing penalty or a tactics penalty uh, due to that if they attack into us. And also, there's mountains here, although there are mountains pretty much everywhere in uh, Middle Italy. Saying that, we could consider sending down some mountaineers down here. They probably would give us or increase our upper hand. We also want to place some uh, mountaineers here, though. Uh, defend the Pyrenees frontier, which is a good name, actually. Pr probably what I'm gonna call it. Um, you know what? Let's uh, recruit another commander here. No need to give uh, these guys their own commander. And let's stage um, a naval attack. Let's let's go with a naval attack over here. We could stage one here and get uh, these two islands, which are pretty crucial, uh, crucial as well, I guess. But I'm sure this is fine to begin with. Um, let's try to get La Spezia as well. With only three divisions, it's going to be quite tough, but uh, if we get some more, that would be good. Uh, that would also mean that if they are undermanned in both of these, they can't uh, focus all their defense in one by moving them over. They actually have to um, defend both, which in a best-case scenario, we take one or both of these um, ports, or in a worst-case scenario, uh, they simply have to drag away some divisions from the front, which would work as well. Is some interesting music. Let's see where that goes. Um, right and process protests at Rangoon University. So Burma is pretty much having some uh, socialist, uh, yeah, some socialist revolt among the students there. Let's see if I can find Burma. Let's see if I'm uh, educated enough. Burma, Burma, Burma. Um, well. It's not in India. Um, am I an idiot, maybe? Oh, it was here. All right. Um, okay. Cool. Uh, we could stage a coup, but we don't even have enough infantry equipment to satisfy our own, our own needs, so um, maybe not fight with that fire. Um, cool. Um, yeah, so as you can see, we are producing some, uh, some fleets, some um, naval units. Okay, so the battleship is going to take a while, but it's not like we weren't expecting that. Uh, okay, so we can't do more in the international tree. 
So let's then go into... Uh, I really want this one. And this one is pretty good as well, so... The other choice is to go into the political power, military build-up, which is good as well. And then into calibrated economy, probably this one as well, just to defend our German border there. And then... Um, I don't know. This one is pretty good as well. See if... Uh, Swage might agree to that. I doubt it, but who knows. Um, this might trigger some other event. Let's, uh, let's go with this for now. Uh, there's only two crucial and one uh, pretty interesting focus to begin with, so... Um, they're gonna be over pretty quickly. We're still in 36. Um, the doctrine still being researched. So let's uh, get some better artillery. And you know what? Let's get let's get the marines. I'm interested because I saw Alpine forces. I love how you get a 50% reset bonus for Mountain Infantry 1 when we already have those research. The other two are nice, but um, that's a bit weird. And not a big deal, but a bit of an oversight. Okay, so uh, uh, except for the... Exciting music, not a lot of exciting things are going on. Italy it still isn't uh, militarizing... Uh, what's it called? Veneto? It feels a bit iffy to not having Venice um, defended. Um, I guess it's part of a treaty, but still, um, it seems like an economic point like that should be defended. I'm thinking maybe get uh, some more construction speed. Can't have enough of that, really, can you? Small tank. No, actually, let's uh, let's go the the thing I thought about first. FMH, FAMH. Maybe someone with uh, with some um, knowledge about the French modern history has some idea what that is. I don't. I don't. So I don't know if that's. Uh, a reference or something. Uh, do you wanna try to speed up one more, see what happens? As you can see, it gets a bit framey here. It's down to 25 frames. <laughs> and that's what happens when you uh, record and uh, just let the, the ticks loose. But it, this is seeming uh, pretty alright. Um, I like... I really like this um, flag there, by the way, informing you that your um, construction is outdated. Okay, so let's uh, start getting uh, field hospitals and stuff like that, which we're gonna need when the war breaks out. Okay. Um as you can see, Germany is, uh, I believe as well, I don't think this motorized division, division was here before. They are building up some defense here. They have even... Now this must be Flanders doing. Uh, okay, so we finally got some... Um, some motorized done. Cool. How is our de deficit? We've uh, pretty much halved it. So um, we're halfway to being done with it. Cool, so now finally we can get the management of unions and get some extra factories, which is gonna be nice. Wow, nice, okay, I don't believe that happened before. Syndicalist takeover in the Netherlands. Event in the Netherlands have reached the boiling point and socialists have stormed the capital with French and British equipment and volunteers. The faith of the royal Dutch family is yet to unknown. The faith, um, don't know why I said faith. Uh, as rumors say, say they intend to escape the loyalist Dutch East Indies. Okay. Is there something we can do with that? Um, we can't liberate them. Uh, anything else?
uh, nothing weird. Um... Okay. Well, cool then. Congrats. That's a cool damn flag as well. Uh, they are in our um, third international. Cool. Our um, our alliance just grows. Well then, uh, let's as a sign of of uh, welcoming, I guess. Let's send uh, send an army over there. Uh, just to safeguard against any. You know what? This is a this is a big um, opportunity. Here. We can place another Blitzkrieg unit here and charge across from the other dire direction. Uh, we're probably gonna do just that. But um, first, let's just. Um, that's not what I meant to do. Let's uh, envelop all of their nation, which means our units are gonna not cover anything. Well, really, actually, let's. That's a stupid idea. Let's. Um, these are four. Tiles, let's just cover those. And then we can just get the planning preparation thing. Uh, start planning a bit of an attack here. Something like that. Alright. Um, the five year anniversary of the 1942 Geneva strike. Five years ago, uh, today the works of Geneva began a major industrial action demanding social and economic reforms which threatened to spread to the rest of French-speaking Western Switzerland, known as Romandie. Fearful of political revolutionary influence by the Commune of France, the central government in Bern, Bern uh, reacted swiftly by sending in the federal army to break the strike. In the ensuing violence, 13 were killed and over 100 injured in Geneva. This has left a bitter divide between Romandie and Bern, which over the subsequent years has failed to heal. Encouraged by recent developments in France, the radical left has begun to agitate once more and is planning on standing socialist candidates in the upcoming local elections. However, the Social Democrats, traditionally very strong in Romandy, have devised reform package in conjunction with the trade unions, the peace of work agreement, which involves a number of policies regarding wage, increase, shift times, and so on. One of the key points is to put an end to the massive lockouts in watch manufacturers which have been taking place recently. These Social Democratic candidates are relying on this program to be re-elected and hopefully diffuse the standoff between the radical left and the conservative-dominated gov federal government in Bern. Okay, interesting. So we, we pretty much get an opportunity to, uh, as we do have a focus about exactly this, which is called um, Demand Romandy. So we, we could try to uh, high road that, um, hightail that um, as soon as possible. Which is going to take, um, this is going to be done in um, six days. It's going to take the better part of a year. Um, but that's, I'm sure that's fine. And that's, that was pretty much an essay there. Um, good work, socialist of um, French Switzerland. Uh, good work, um, the socialist of Switzerland. Okay, this is what I talked about before in an earlier episode, I believe. Um, the Austrian Empire is fighting with Hungary over whether, uh, over whether they are still in a union or not. Which is this this pretty much gonna say. You can read if you want to. I'm not going to. I'm mainly just gonna read stuff that uh, concerns socialists and uh, France. Okay, so the Italian Federation in the in a true opportunistic fashion have a, have decided to attack the French uh, the Austrian Empire. And the Austrian Empire has decided to attack Montenegro. Okay, interesting. It's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. And Romania declared war on Hungary. Cool. By the way, um, Iron Guard Romania is one of the few nations in the world that, which are properly fascists, and they are called national populists, pretty, basically. Serbia declared war on Bosnia, um, which is interesting. As, and as you can see, um, the Austrian Empire is who are with a lot of people right now. What I did was I pretty much, since there's uh, mountains everywhere here, I just uh, placed mountaineers defending our um, Italian front and then rushed down Hungary while defending here and here. And then I turned downward and then I turned upward and then I 
won against Italy as well. Okay, so uh, we got Trench Warfare, which gives us ma max entrenchment and some entrenchment speed, which is really nice. Now, what the fuck is... Okay, it's just trumpets or something. Now let's get more planning, which is going to be great for our um, Blitzkrieg unit to rush down the enemy. Finally, we're, gonna, we're starting to build up our infantry divisions here. We still have a deficit, but it's uh, steadily decreasing. <laughs> the next high priority is making sure that we have some units on this front. Uh, simply because we don't and they might attack us. Okay, that's interesting. Um, thanks, pro syndicalist victory in the Romandy, which was in um, Swage, as we saw before. Thanks to the ill advised measures taken by Swedish authorities to put an end to the union's demands for better wages and legal protection of labor rights, our efforts to spread syndicalism among Rom Romandy workers in Switzerland have borne fruit, and leftist local governments have been elected in French speaking cantons. This is a great opportunity for the commune to force stronger ties with them. However, however the pro-German and pro-Austrian conservatives will probably try to topple these worker elected representatives by all means available, including brute force. Well, no worries, if that happens, we are there to back you up, buddies. Um, so let's see how this develops. Germany doesn't have a lot of troops here, so if we were very fast, we could try to siege a significant amount of land. And they do have quite a lot of factories in some of these provinces, especially um, Eastern Rhineland. So it's almost like I wanna just place a, a unit to blitz down here and take, SN uh, take uh, the Rhinelands uh, in the case of uh, conflict. And just siege, siege those factories, essentially. It would also cut off these armies somewhat, or at least frighten them of the um, the risk of that happening, and hopefully um, cause the evacuation of some of them. And it might give us the opportunity to um, completely envelop the units. So that's something to think of. Um, I think we we will uh, try to do that as, as soon as we get some uh, some tanks. And as you can see, uh, Britain has a lot of units. These guys, which are a new unit for this uh, mod, which are called... Um, I think they're just called garrisons. Um, they have a huge amount of defensive strength, which makes them great for defending... Uh, well, pretty much anything, but especially um, coasts. They don't have any offensive strength at all, so they are useless in an offensive action. But they are great uh, at defending. So, um, that's a little bit special for the Britons there. Uh, okay, so Serbia took one state. And as you can see, Serbia took um, the opportunity to take Bosnia there, while Bosnia was um, trying to get some independence from Austria. And it seems like... It seems like Austria is making gains. Hungary is taking one promise here, but Austria is taking all of these. Uh, don't know how the battles are going, um, admittedly. Uh, Austria also seems to be holding the line there, and they are advancing into Croatia, so yeah. We got some factories there, now let's get the um, communal army, probably gonna get some events from that. Uh, you are in the alliance, right? No, you aren't. I do want to have you in the alliance. Okay, so you are led by radical socialist, while... Uh, so are Britain, though. I don't know. Okay, so it's 1997, 1937. So let's try to um, uh, let's uh, research some greater efficiency there for our production. Boosting our output quite a bit. We're almost done with the deficit, uh, which will be nice because then we will be quite ready for war. Not um, exceptionally ready, but. We will be on par with most nations, I think. 
especially if Britain backs us up, which, which they probably will, but um, considering that Britain uh, mostly have a um, mentality of self-defense rather than um, offense or helping neighbors. Okay, so this was the beginning of the American uh, Civil War. Um, these are called um, Pacific States of America and these combined syndicates of America. These are pretty much um, conservatives and these are uh, so uh, syndicalists. And then a fascist faction is going to rise down over here in Florida in the Southern America. And then the United States are going to have the central uh, states kept until they either lose or win the war. Um, so these guys are going to duke it out usually. Um, Yep, we're gonna send volunteers and equipment. We wanna see see these guys win because we wanna trade with America and hopefully get them on our side in any world wars as well. Uh, we can send um... okay. We can send volunteers apparently. I think we did that before. Don't know. Okay, so now the American Union state, which are kind of fascist, the paternal autocrats. Okay, so we're gonna read this soon. Um, rose up, and uh, usually the syndicate, syndicates and uh, Pacific States of America win, um, and sometimes the American Union win over the United States as well, and then uh, they pretty much fight among themselves. So okay, the Second American Civil War. To, un to uneducated foreigners, it might seem like the crisis in the United States happened out of nowhere, but experts agree that this was a civil war civil war years in the making. Ever since the collapse of the New York Stock Exchange in 1929, the economy of the United States has been in constant downturn. Constant downturn. The government of Herbert Hoover failed to cope with the American Great Depression, and now the United States have developed into a freeway civil war between the loyalists and the old government. The syndicalist combined states of America and the conservative and xenophobic American Union states, so they're essentially fascist. There have already been reports, well, the Apple Music start off when the one of the most exciting conflicts in the game start up, apparently, which great timing there. Uh, there have already been reports of arriving volunteers from Europe to fight for the faction of the liking. The second American Civil War might just be the first of many battles between, between the great powers of the world in this tough time for humanity. So this is pretty interesting that America pretty much turned into a proxy war for um, all of the great powers of Europe. Which is not really how it's done nowadays, is it? Cool. That's uh, that's pretty cool. I look forward to um, being able to play as a young citizen of America and then, I suppose, picking uh, picking a faction, I guess. Would be nice to play as, uh, to keep playing as the United States of America and then just try to pacify all the factions. It, it would it would be it would be very hard, but I imagine it could be done. Also, New England rose up for some reason um, and joined the uh, Dominion. And uh, then Tante, as they're called. Okay, so Croatia just lost. Um, Austrian is making gains here. They're even making gains against Italy. That's really good. Uh, they are having a hard time with Hungary, though. And uh, yeah. The John McLean explodes. The John McLean, named after the first president of the Union of Britain, was the largest airship ever built. He was constructed in 1945 as a propaganda tool intended to show the world the achievement of the Union of Britain. In 1936, she made her maiden voyage and soon started making re regular traffic to Paris. Today, she, as she was about to dock at the Paris airfield, uh, she burst into flames and crashed into the ground. 45 people out of 97, plus one of the ground crew, died. Essentially mirroring the Hindenburg. Well, that's too bad because Britain is our allies. And uh, at the tune of that, we're gonna end the episode here, make a cut, and then continue on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, you're having a great time with this mod because I am, and it's really fun. And please leave a like if you want to see more and just to support me. It helps a lot, and I really appreciate it. And yeah, uh, hopefully, see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.